So what my, me and my team did for the first responders was, um, well, first off, we had a lot of guys coming in all of a sudden, and you could see that they were exhausted, they were tired, they're working around the clock. And, you know, somebody got the idea of, hey, let's give them, you know, lunches and dinners and breakfast and whatever we can offer them. They tried to pay a couple times. We said, no, 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 just, just take it. Um, just use this as fuel and go catch the guy. This is where we live. This is where the team lives. And this was our community. And they came in, the first responders came in to help us. And uh, so we just, it was great to give back and help them. I know they were going through a lot of stress probably like with everything that was going on so it made me feel like I was kind of helping them with their stress and everything. The first responders were overwhelmed. Um, they couldn't believe it and then uh, while SOAR 8015 did lunch and dinner, I don't know, how I lost track of how many days, it might have been seven to ten days. Uh, we did breakfast one day from another store down the street. Everyone just right away just jumped right on it. There was no question at all as to, you know, are we going to do this? Can we really do this? There was no question. Like, we knew we can do this, you know, because that's, again, that's who we are. I like helping people, and I like working for a company that helps people. And I think the whole team was really excited to work and together and make 400 lunch boxes. I was really proud of our team for the way that they just was like, okay, we're going to do this, we're just going to get it done. When, when the community calls on us, we step up. When we delivered that, there were 300 state troopers in there that were just kind of looking around like, what's, what's going on? I'm like, hey, Wawa decided to feed you guys. Uh, they were grateful beyond words uh, for Wawa and how we, how we helped them out.